it's Elle from lcs.blogspot.com and I get asked a lot of questions about my hair like what are my favorite products and one a product that is always at the top of the list would be dry shampoo so this is a must-have product it's excellent it helps to refresh hair it helps to absorb the oil and and today I'm going to tell you all about how to use it my tips and tricks as well as some additional uses there are all sorts of dry shampoos out there you have have some with the white spray and they have some now like this one from Batiste which has just a hint of color to it so if you have red hair brunette hair dark brown hair this one is medium and brunette it's going to be wonderful and you will end up with like white all in your hair which I'll give you some tips on that in just a moment but I've been loving this one so let's talk about mistakes the first mistake I see people make when it comes to using dry shampoo is that they spray it all over like it's a hairspray and then they're disappointed when their hair doesn't have volume or the oil isn't absorbed. The key to using this is to make sure that you are spraying it at the roots. So it's got to be sprayed at the roots. And I'll give you a demonstration on that in just a moment. The second mistake I see people make with this is that they spray it right at the roots. And then they end up with that horrible white cast. So they're spraying it too close and sometimes in the wrong spot. But that's one of the good things about the Batiste one because it does have that little hint of color. So you don't have to worry about it um, having that white cast in your hair. So just make sure that you spray it a little bit further away. And I'm going to show you a demo of how to use this. So I'll take a section like this, about an inch, inch and a half. Hold the can after shaking it about 6 to 12 inches away. Do a quick little spray. And just let it dry for just a few seconds. And then you'll repeat your process. After you have gone through your crown, then I'll go through and just take my fingers or a towel and rough it up like this. And that will help to get the volume and the absorption of the oil so you can have refreshed instant style hair. Another great way to use this is to give your hair some texture. So in this case, you will spray it like a hairspray, and this is the dark, dark brown one. So I'll take a little bit, hold it again, spray it, allow it to dry, and then you'll go through and just rough up your hair to give it some texture. This is also wonderful if you want to spray some into your roots, put your hair into a loose kind of a top knot, sleep in it to help extend that blowout or just to give you a little bit more volume in the morning. But sometimes your hair is a little bit stinky from being out, whether you're at the club that night and you just don't want to wash your hair or it might be a little bit sweaty. I'll spray it all over and just put it in a loose top knot and sleep with it that way. Another great use for dry shampoo is, I'm sure you've seen this before on my blog from Pinterest, I'll take a bobby pin and spray just a little bit onto it, allow it to dry, and then by placing it with the bumpy side down, you can get your hairstyle to stay with your bobby pin staying in. So I love having dry shampoo when I travel. What I'll do is I'll spray some into my shoes that have been wet or just stinky and allow them to dry overnight. I've done the same thing with the inside of my shirts like at the armpits and just allow them to air out and dry overnight. Use those two tips with your own discretion but this one I like because it smells like coconut, it smells amazing and then my clothes smell amazing so they're not sticking up my suitcase. So those are just some of the tips and tricks I use to be able to use dry shampoo. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite tips are and as always have a great day be safe behave and be well Lavelle bye